all right making a quick video so this wash and our work um just checking a few things that we, um, we find here and the drum this is a whirlpool i'm not sure what the top look like is this model um we have the model number in the description box in the video but so far this is where we are and we're trying to remove the drum because there's some stuff that fall underneath it and also i'm checking the transmission shaft so i'm going to make a couple of videos about this including how to remove the lid uh if you remove your suspension pieces but for right now i'm inside of the tub i'm going to show you how to remove this tub so the best thing that i'm going to find online is this basic setup uh, if you can have something some kind of jack or something you have a piece of wood the measurement um, that we cut this is um, 22 so it just fit right underneath the local lip if you want you can put like a local towel or something like that so you don't scratch you up if you worry about that but you know I'm mean, just to try take this thing off right now so basically with your local scissor jack car so you basically jack it up like a jack in a car and down here these grooves if you can see those Okay, you're trying to make it come off of those those um splines right there so a lot of people um just so lucky if you have this thing where they take off the agitator so and everything just come up but if you have a thing that's been sitting five six years or whatever it may be you get a lot of rust and everybody knows that rust are the worst enemy for these things are just in general for anything that you're doing and we're going to also make a video about the agitator being stuck because mine was stuck to the point where we basically have to cut off the the housing off of the transmission shaft it would not come off even with hot water um try the airbag method that we see online the thing wouldn't come off and it actually separated from the agitator plastic piece because the plastic piece actually get old and crystallized and we're just starting to break apart when we try and take it out so it was badly seized rusted and all them kind of thing there this is the old agitator plate we have to add a new one of course but if it's old crystallized you see how it was it still has some of that rust mark in there and everything it was not coming off of this so it actually break when we was trying to take it out and this basically stayed upon the transmission shaft so now we just try take off everything clean on everything we're going to be changing these suspension uh, rods that's what i'm calling them enough there um that's the specific name but we're going to be changing our four because what we find too is the drum is basically beating itself crazy vibrating shaking horribly and then now um it stopped work so the far code that we get i will demonstrate how you can get your codes out of a washer machine or this model washer machine after we finish up here but today we just want to show you real quick how to remove this drum if it's stuck rusty down and all them kind of thing there this is the easiest thing that me find i guess they have a tool for this but yeah you can't improvise as you can see so me i'd have you set up light pressure and then you can do it hand tight and if you can sit down there hard to kind of angle that but as you turn like you're jacking up a car it's coming off of the splines coming off of the teeth off of the transmission shaft so what it's basically doing is applying pressure to this shaft right here keeping it in place keeping it from spinning and then also the wood is basically pushing up the drum so once it basically clears or releases out of this local plate here you can be able to lift out the drum and get to the the inner drum area and make sure everything is good in that area they are cleaning out as you can see dirty so go and just clean up all of that and then let me go ahead and tighten it up a little bit more so we can get that loose so we can show you how to take it out again you don't want to go too too tight you don't have to go crazy with it but 
as you can see that's hard to see anyway but put it down in there the teeth right there as we turn it you can see the drum loosening are coming up So that's how I find that you can remove the drum. So let me go ahead and do that. Since me have one hand, I'm going to go and just put on the camera for a second and just go ahead and do that. All right. So the drum is jacked up all the way. As you can see, the local scissor jack arm is almost touching the end of the drum. That's when you know you should stop. You don't want to damage that. So now you can actually take the take it from the piece of wood or you can grab it by the sides and just lift it out and then the drum basically you can see now it basically push down on that transmission shaft and it clears it, it break that little seal that's holding it in place and then now you should be able to remove your drum without as much strain as if you didn't do something like this which you can hurt your back so you make sure you be careful so i'm gonna go ahead and just lift it with a piece of wood forgive me me doing this with one hand so grind this grab it like so as you can see it's loose all right it's loose so you just have to work it out so i'm going to go ahead and work it out with two hands so pause the camera for a minute so the drum is out and now you have access to your inner drum and this is the part of your washer that basically holds the water while everything get washed inside of your drum so if you're trying to remove your drum this is the easiest way and safest way for your body if you do it so make sure um you just get it on the local lip so it doesn't damage it if you want to wrap it up in some kind of piece of cloth or towel or anything like that to protect the surface and then that's how you remove the drum out of the washer so i'm going to go ahead and clean up the shaft clean out inside of the tub make sure everything is good suck out all of this stuff everything that fall in there as you can see over the years a whole bunch of things this is a little filter here right here. So I'm going to take all of that out and clean it. And then we're going to reinstall everything back together. So thank you for watching. All right.